Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says the uniform load has a mass of 600 kilograms and is lifted using a uniform 30 kilogram strong back beam BAC and four ropes as shown. Determine the tension in each rope and the force that must be applied at A. So for this problem, you know that you have this tension and we have basically four tensions and they all look exactly the same. You have a tension here. And then you know that here and I'm trying to draw basically so we could kind of see through it. You know you have four cables and this is another tension and this is another tension. And then right at the center of this uh, of the bottom of this box, which is what's trying to be lift, you have the weight. We're going to call it weight 1 because there's two weights. Now this weight is a six, 600 kilogram load given by the problem so it's 600 times 9.81. So our weight comes out to be 5886 newtons. So th this problem is kind of divided into two parts. First we're going to do the bottom load being lifted by the tensions and being brought down by the weight and then we're going to do the second part which is the one about the beam so you'll see in a second so first of all you have to understand that if you got to look at these triangles that get formed by the cables and the loads so the triangle if you look at it from the right if I was looking at it from here, it looks something like this, right? And you know that this is the tension. You know that this is 1.5 and you know that this is 2. So using the Pythagorean theorem, you know that this is 2.5. How did I find this 2.5? Well, this is 2 squared plus 1.5 squared is equal to the hypotenuse square. So if you solve for the hypotenuse, that is 2.5. And that's how I got that. So now I know basically the angle of the tension and this allows me to do this problem much easier as you'll see. If you do the sum of the forces on the C, I am saying that is the C, that is the X, and let's say that is the Y, okay? So if I do sum of the forces of the C is equal to zero for the bottom load, I know that the tension times, looking at this triangle right now, you can tell that the C component of the tension is 2 over 2.5 because this is the C component and this is the Y component according to the axis, the convention that I decided. So, and this is, there's four cables, so this is multiplied times four, right? Basically what I just did is this component of the tension this component of the tension, this component of the tension, and this component. So that's what it is, 4 times t times 2 over 2.5. Now minus the weight that we just found. And all of this is equal to 0. And we know the weight. We have that this is 5886, we found it right here. So if we solve for the tension, we get that the tension is equal to 2.5 times the weight over 8. And we plug in the weight and we get that the tension is equal to 1839.375 newtons. And that is one of the problems. What is the tension of each of the ropes? Now for the second part, if you look at the at the beam, you know that you have the tensions going down, trying to pull this whole thing down. Again, there's four tensions because there's four cables. You know that the beam has a weight too. We're going to call it weight two. Uh, let me write it up here. What is the weight two? This is 30 kilograms times 9.81. 
So the weight 2 comes out to be 294.3 newtons. Now, if you do the sum of the forces in the C for the second part of the problem for this um, strum back, you know that it's equal to zero and it's equal to pulling it down. The tension, again, it's the Y component, I mean, it's the C components of the tensions, which is two times 2.5. And there's four of them, so you multiply by four. You know that the force, which is what we're trying to find, is trying to pull it up. And you know that it also has the weight of the strong back, which is W2, which we found over here. We can plug that in, and we know the tension because we found it on the previous problem. So if you plug those two in and solve for F, you're gonna get that this is equal to 6180 0.3 newtons or you know it could also be um, 6.18 kilonewtons if you want the answer like that um, so final answer for the tension of the four cables final answer for the force needed to pull it up the weight of the strong back and the weight of the load